Hello everyone and welcome back to Kentucky Garden Gal. Cam and I came out on this beautiful day to Smith's Grove, Kentucky. It's about a 45 minute drive from Franklin. It is exit 38 uh, going north on Interstate 65. And I have been coming to this little town for a long, long time. And this place that we are at, the Garden Patch, is absolutely my favorite place to come. I come up here twice a year. I always come in the summertime for plants. And today I'm looking for fall and pumpkin decor. And I'm actually gonna come back uh, for her Christmas open house the second weekend of November. And I think I'm going to bring a group of friends. But let's just take a look around and let you all see what all we can find in this beautiful historic home. And there's just so much. We're gonna take our time. We're gonna look in every crack and corner because it's just jam packed with great things. This is coming up the front door to the front door. And as you can see, the porch is just full of fun things. I like how she has put this corn husk together over her door. That looks so warm and inviting. She has any size pumpkin you want she has for sale. And I tell you, look at this. These are the new wreaths made out of uh, the straw. Look at that. She is absolutely so creative. Walking in the front door, the first thing that you'll notice, there I am. It is like this through the entire store. There is so much to see. It's all wonderful and it's all very affordable. When I know that I'm coming here to shop, I know that I'm going to find things like homemade pumpkin bread. She is going, she always has uh, house plants. So every room is just. Nancy, at, I'm walking outside and I have the basket made. Okay, and she. I gotta write this fella a check, so there's no hurry to come out back. Okay, I'll be right back there. She has just put together a sympathy basket and she is going to um, tell us a little bit about her business. But you all, this is a place that you can come anytime and we will just go room by room and I want to show you how adorable. These are little tea towels and then little coasters. They're $3. You know, there's a price point for everyone, and she really supports local artists. So, a lot of things that you will see in here are locally made right here in Smith's Grove, Kentucky. So, she, her business supports other small businesses, but I'm telling you, it is just fun. You want to bring... Um, you want to bring your friends and you want to come because she always has such interesting things. Look at these flower frogs. Look at those. You just never know what you're going to see. She was just telling me this is a new hot mix from the Kentucky Proud uh, products. But look at what she has made just from foraging and Right now, foraging is a big thing, and I'm so glad because it seems like the uh, younger generation, they are really getting into foraging. Now, these items um, you would maybe take if you had a, needed a gift to send to the uh, funeral home. You could just walk in and purchase these. These are all lovely. One of the things that I always love are her dip mixes. And these are so nice to have on hand if you uh, just have somebody come in and usually it's a cup of mayonnaise and a cup of sour cream and the contents of this little 
uh, mix package and you are ready to go, you will see lots of homemade items. You can find sorghum, you can find sauces, you name it, she's got it. They can do gift baskets, over there's popcorn. And if you're a crafty person like she is, you are just going to be in craft heaven, let me tell you, because she just knows. She has the magic touch. Even dog biscuits down there. You can take something home for your doggy. We'll walk around just a little bit and give you an idea. I love how people are taking old blankets and making pillows out of them. And here she has uh, Gardner Spring Soap. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you all could smell in here. A local gal that makes um, sweatshirts for her. And then more beautiful things over here. These are the earrings that I think are so cute. There's a local person that is making these. I believe she said these are made out of clay. Y'all, look how cute those are. $7.00. Those are just precious. There's another uh, gal that makes, it looks like these are more leather earrings. So she's making these. This is what she calls her back porch and I always love her back porch. And if you'll notice, she is putting together some things to take. She's going to be in Bell Buckle for their craft fair. So she's put together some items to take. And I really feel like she is, they're going to love her in Bell Buckle. She's just so crafty, and they are definitely going to love her. You can see here, if you're in the market for aloe vera, she's got aloe vera for $5, and I love the little rain chains. She has a great collection of rain chains, and these are more reasonably priced than I have seen anywhere. And look at this. Wouldn't that be a perfect gift for a gardener? I just think that is so cute. And all of these things that you can if you are doing a tablescape, she has plenty, plenty, plenty of things. There's another wreath, the little pumpkins, different gourds. She says the gourds are a dollar each or six for five dollars. Different things. We'll walk out to the back patio area and she has put together a sympathy basket for a customer. Okay. Hi, I'm Esley here at the Garden Patch in historic downtown Smith's Grove. And we are so glad that Nancy is here filming me. My goodness, I feel like, ah, oh, I'm special. But one of the things that we do at the Garden Patch is we specialize in fabulous customer service and we do our beautiful blooming baskets. We do these for all occasions, centerpieces, happy birthdays, sympathies, whatever you'd like, beautiful flowers and a pretty basket and a bow for. And we love to deliver these through Bowling Green, around here in Smith's Grove and in Glasgow. As you can see behind me now, it's pumpkin season so not only do we do flowers at this time of year, we also do fabulous pumpkins. We have pumpkin stacks. Here's one right here in front of me that is just glorious, every color. And so we can also do pumpkins in our baskets to make a fall basket. So we hope you'll come see us. Follow Nancy on her YouTube channel. She'll tell you what that is. But also, come visit the Garden Patch anytime. 
We're here seven days a week till Christmas. So as she mentioned, they have beautiful, beautiful stacked pumpkins. Look at this, you all. Just so many. The pink dolls, I don't think I've even seen this. Look at that beautiful pumpkin. That is going home with me right there. That one's going home. Six dollars. The blue pumpkins are six dollars. If you are looking for pumpkins, either uh, for Halloween or for Thanksgiving, this is where you need to come. I don't think I've seen them so reasonably priced and the mums are just gorgeous. I think the small ones are six dollars and the larger ones are twelve. But she definitely has plenty if you're looking for something for tabletops. Look at those. Look how sweet that little stacked pumpkin is right there. Just so precious. Goodness. Look at this one. That's definitely different right there, isn't it? But she definitely has the best. The uh, orange pie pumpkins are $3. And we will go around just in a minute and we will look at all of her pansies. The white pie is $3. I'm telling you, I've been a lot of places and I'm pretty sure I haven't seen prices this good. Check this one out right there. Isn't that a gorgeous pumpkin? The big orange jacks are $8 a piece. Oh, I didn't even see her metal over here. Look at this. All kinds of fun things. You just don't know what you're going to find when you come here. Look at the succulents. These are a dollar a piece, you all. Is this the variegated gourd? Look at that. I've never even... I think that might be a variegated gourd. I'm not sure what that is. But her succulents are literally a dollar a piece. So if you know of anybody that is in the market for succulents, I don't think you can beat that price. Look at these stacks. Aren't those gorgeous? This is called a fairy tale, I think. Is that what that says? For eight dollars. Look at those. And I did want to come over and look at her um, at her pansies because they are just absolutely gorgeous. This says, tan, small, cute pumpkins, $5. And let me tell you, they sure are. These are just as cute as they can be. All of these stacked pumpkins. These are called flat Cinderella's. And those are $6 a piece. Look at the colors. These are Cinderella's is what the sign says. She has just a wonderful selection of pumpkins and I wanted to show you these are called white cotton I think balls is what it says these are six dollars and all over uh, Facebook and Instagram people are taking the tops out of these and this is what they're putting flowers in so that is just an excellent price for that but look at all these pumpkins y'all there's just pumpkins everywhere these are her pansies. They are all $5 and they look so good. And I'm telling you, that is just such a great price. The peppers are on sale for $4. Violas are $2.50 a pack. There's more pansies, more stacked pumpkins. This large mum, $21. I think we saw those up front. But she has stuff just packed everywhere, like every single place. Look at these pumpkins. I'm telling you, some of the most beautiful pumpkins I have seen this season. And she just has little vignettes everywhere. Look how cute that is. 
there's her sign. More beautiful mums. Oh, look at the succulents. Look how gorgeous those are. Those are so nice. I so appreciate Esley and Miss Mary for just showing me around today and letting me just take as much time as I wanted to to wander through this beautiful garden patch. And I want to remind you all that she is located on Main Street in Smith's Grove, Kentucky. She is open seven days a week until Christmas and her Christmas open house is the second weekend in November and it is a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So enjoy these pictures that I took as we finish out this video and as always I thank you so much for watching my channel and I just appreciate all of your support and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful rest of the day.